Tonight on Frontline, we're following one young man as he looks for work. Thirteen months ago, he was laid off from his job painting parking lot lines. This is William's story. I never thought I'd get laid off. People need to park, right? Without lines, cars would be all like, Ah, oh, no! I'm not gonna lie. Being an employee is kind of sweet. Money comes every Tuesday from the unemployment ferry, and Mom started buying regular soda again. I'm having the time of my life. But Dad says that I've been slapping the salami around on the government's dime for too long now. William had to move back home with his retired parents after being laid off by his company. Look how handsome you are! Today, we're following William as he interviews for a job. I've got a job in it. See, but a real business type job. They've got desks and lamps and a toilet room. They might even have a microwave for my pot pies. It's nice. We go for walks. We watch our shows. Um, it's nice having him home. Mm. Did I say that already? I love my son. Don't get me wrong. But I don't really think he wants to get a job. The, the other day, look what I found. Come on in. Chuck, you must be Will, right? Will, William, Willie, Billy Boy, you call me Shirley and that'd be alright too. You want me to call you Shirley? No, I, I was just saying, you know, like, oh hey, Will's such a team player, you can even call him Shirley. Because I really do work well with, uh, with others. Tell me a little about yourself. Well, I'm 5'8", uh, 190 pounds, I'm a Libra. And my mom and I like to collect chapsticks from around the world. Also, I make a mean chili. All right. It says here you used to paint parking lot lines. Yes, sir. Enlighten me. Well, a lot of people think that painting parking lot lines is, is just walking forward. But, uh, I really think it's art. You know... Working at a desk might not, might not be the best direction for your superb pal. Oh, no, no, no. See, ever since I've been laid off, I've been playing GTA with my friend Stu, like, all the time. I could sit at a desk for eight or nine hours straight. Back home, William's parents are anxious to hear about the interview. Sometimes I think, why can't Will get a job working from home? Then we can have the best of both worlds. Yeah, that would not be okay. <laughs> Describe your strongest skill to me. Well, I'm a really good communicator. Okay. Could you elaborate? Uh, yeah. No. Can you describe once when you've had a conflict with a former coworker and had a proper resolution? Yeah, it's a, it's a really funny story, actually. So anyway, I, I, bumped, I bumped in and I was, I was like, whoa, and, and she, you know, she was like, oh, you, you talking to me, and I, and I was like, what, no, no, you got me all wrong, and, and then she was like, yeah, well, yeah, and so, you know, it worked out in the end. <clears throat> and if I were to ask said co-worker to describe in one word? Cry out one. Cry out one. Which okay? What would they say? Thorough. Well, Will, uh, I think we got everything we need, so, um... Hey, thanks for having me. It's been three months since we last saw William. He didn't get the job that day. William hopes his old job will hire him back soon. As he said, cars need to know where to park. Until then, William will live with his parents. Shit. For Frontline, I'm Tom Allen.